Hey guys, it is Doris by True Beauty by DJP, and I'm back with another video for my Ipsy bag for January. It finally came. It came unexpectedly though. I'm usually waiting for it like towards the end of the month, but it came early this month, so I'm not complaining. So I'm gonna open it and see what's inside for this month. This is the car, the thing. Okay, this month is an all eyes on you thing. So I'm pretty sure everything is on eyes. And look at the bag. It's like little eyes and glasses and so cute. So I like the bag so far. So let's move this side. Okay. We have an eyeshadow trio by City Color and Falling Leaves. It's three colors from like dark. You can probably do one look with this whole thing. So that'll be fun to try out. A lip color, Florence Fig by Tristique. That's how you pronounce it. They really need to have like pronunciation cards or how to whatever. Okay, it's like a mauve, a fig color, winter color. Kind of cute. Kind of not. An eyebrow pencil by Ofra. If that's how you pronounce it. Universal is the color and it is a brown shade, I'm supposing. Yes, it is. It's a good shade for me, but I don't know how universal that's going to be for other people. Like redheads and blondes. I'm not too sure about that. We have a Mr. Right Now eyeliner pencil in the color Jack. And I'm supposing that this line, every color is named after a man. Because it's Mr. Right Now. So I have not been to open this because it's that difficult packaging that liners come in. Yeah, I'm not doing that. And last but not least, a daily moisturizer lotion by Avino. Now, originally I was going to go to the store and buy a trial size, so luckily I didn't go because I have one out, basically my Ipsy bag. So my opinions on that Ipsy bag for this month, I'm more excited about the bag itself, not really with the content that's in it. The bag is really cute. The products this time, new lines, but kind of boring. Kind of boring. But outside of my Ipsy bag, for the last few days, I have been shopping like I have no sense at Ulta and Sephora. So I'm going to show you guys. Like, I, it's so new, I haven't even opened any of the stuff. Like, that's how new it is. But I'll start with my Ulta stuff. I went for one thing at Ulta. One. And the one thing I went for was the lip gloss I'm wearing now in the color Fortune Cookie Biscuit by NYX. It's a butter gloss. Only thing I went for. So I went for this. And I left with Better Than False Lashes Extreme by Too Faced. I haven't used it before. I usually use the Better Than Sex Mascara. But I felt like I was kind of bored with this. So I always ask the sales ladies like, oh, what's more popular? You know, what have you used it? What's better? And she ranched and raved a little too much that I needed for. So I can do that. Tarte, I've been loving Tarte right now. I purchased the concealer recently, Creases Concealer. It's pretty thick, but I just love how it felt at the end of the day. So, and it increased, so that was a good thing. I bought the Amazon, Amazonian Clay BB Tinted Moisturizer. I'm not really a big foundation person for every day, so I got it in the color medium tan. So hopefully it's not going to be too thick on me, because I really don't wear a foundation every day. I don't see the need for it. I work, I don't use this now, so I need for it. So hopefully, I like this one. I'm really big on tinted moisturizer. It has SPF 20 in it, which is also really even to win the winter months. You still need sunscreen. You do. Next, I got the Too Faced Melted Liquid Lipsticks, the Liquify, in the color Melted Sugar. I'll need a new where I can just throw it on. Lately, I've been having to create a new with a pencil, a lipstick, a gloss. I don't feel like doing all that. So hopefully, this shade is going to be very cute on me. Oh, I also went for these pencils for my kit. So I blame NYX for me needing them for why I bought all that stuff from Ulta. That was not planned at all. So I got four pencils. I got a, a light, a pink, a brownish, like a burgundy color, and a sand pink color is called. And then I'll leave $13 for Fred. Then I go to Sephora today for one thing only. Did I get one thing? No, I didn't get one thing. I got more than one thing. One thing led to another, and it was just ridiculous. I went for the newest 
Tartlet Tease Tart. Tartlet Tease. Tartlet. Tart. Tartlet Tease Palette. It's six colors. They have the bigger Tartlet. I'm not really an eyeshadow person, so I didn't feel the need of buying the full palette when I'm just a really nude person and I can really get a lot of shades. So I'm gonna look like this one. It is this really cute. You can see it. White colors, I love the names, Whisper, Crush, Heartbreaker, First Kiss, and BFF. I can't see what the other color is because the way they positioned it on the box. But yeah, I'll probably do a look with all my Tarte products because I was, I'm was i loving that line right now. Next from Sephora, from Tarte, the Maracula Oil. I had a sample of it in a, I don't know what it was called, like a kit odor from Sephora. You pay like $20, it's like minis of like the bronzer by Tarte. The sunscreen by Tarte, the facial tanning oil from Tarte, and then the Maracula oil. And if you have oily skin, do not be afraid of oils. Because a lot of times when you have oily skin, you tend to buy products that are for oily skin. And it actually drains your natural oils out of your skin. So it's not that bad to use the oils a little bit at night to kind of like put those natural oils back into your skin that they need. Because you've been stripping them and that can actually make your natural oily skin worse. But this is a facial oil. You can actually still put it under your foundation. So the sample that I had, it was really smooth. I had like, I get dry patches like around like the bottom of my chin and around my nose. No matter how much I exfoliate and moisturize, those patches still pop up. And then putting foundation on top of that is lovely. But it comes with a little pump, a little droplet. It's not heavy at all. One drop on your face goes a long way. So I'll be ranting and raving about that a lot, a lot. Next I purchased Buxom. I was on, a, I'm on like a new lip rampage right now, so I got it in Peach Daiquiri. And I forget that Buxom is a plumping company, so it like tingles when you put it on and it plumps your lips up as if I need any more plumping on my lips. Oh. It smells good, let's see. It's very sheer, very sheer. The tingling, yeah, it's tingling. I feel it. So my lips are gonna be able to see looking bigger in this video. That's why. I need. I don't really wear eyeshadow like I said it before. So, but since I bought a little palette, it is really like tingling. Go buck some. The Urban Decay eyeshadow potion primer. I've used it a million times. And off clients, I bought the original. I don't need to get the anti-aging and stuff yet. But this is a really good primer for the for eyeshadow primer. It really lasts all day. Like everything on your face can be gone, but your eyeshadow will still be there. Okay, I was looking for a bronzer. Tarte has a bronzer that came in my kit called Park Avenue Princess. But only thing I didn't like, it had the sparkles in it. So putting a bronzer with sparkles on it and then putting a highlighter with sparkles in it, it's just like, you just glowing a little bit too much, so. I walked around the store for like 20 minutes and I came across Hula by Benefit. I've had this before, but I really, I buy so much over and over again. So I buy stuff, throw in the back, buy some. It comes in a little box, look at it. Hula, it's really cute. Only thing I don't like about it is how deep it is in the box. Like how am I supposed to get to that when it gets super low? And it smells decent on like Too Faced smells like chocolate, but whatever. So I'm gonna see how this one works. I've heard a lot of good things about it. A lot of my girls who suffer from the lightness, so we need bronzer at all times of the year. So I'm gonna see how this is. Too Faced got me again with the Hangover Primer. I had a sample of this around last year because it has coconut water, probiotic based ingredients and skin revivers. Meaning if you had a long day the night before or you had a long day and you're going out at you know that night, this is really good. It's very moisturizing and just luscious when you put it on your face and it like plumps your skin so it's like ready for your makeup and it holds your makeup on all night as well. So the hangover one are good for people who have busy days and still have to go out at night and put makeup on, like me, so yeah. Last but not least, okay, beauty blenders. I usually get like the little bootleg ones. I've never really bought like the real beauty blender. I'll get the Sephora brands, I'll get the Rite Aid brands, the Walgreens brands, shoot, the dollar store got them now. But I buckle down, they got me because it's a nude one. Now my pink beauty blender is hideous now 
like the bootleg one, it's hideous now because my foundation's all over it doesn't look pink. So that's probably why they did the nude color for a foundation so it doesn't gross you out as much. But I'm still gonna have to clean it regardless. And then, now everyone's Anastasia is like bomb when it comes to eyebrows, especially. But she just released her glow kit. And I got the glow kit in Gleam for all you lovely highlighter addicts like me. Gleam was closer to use for my skin tone. The other one would have been like too dark. But it comes with four colors, Hard Candy, Mimosa, Starburst, and Crushed Pearl. Look how pretty that is. I cannot wait to use it, so I will be flicking it up when I try this very soon. And then, I never really used her powder before, her eyebrow powder, because I used to use like Wet n Wild or Ardell's powders, but I buckled on and got her powder in Ebony, the brow powder duo that has a darker shade and a lighter. The darker would be for, you know, the majority of your brows, but use the lighter to do the beginning to blend it out. Don't do like the bold. Oh, let me start it. And then she has a new brow definer. Now, her other pencil is already bomb, but this one is a slanted tip. You can see that. It's a slanted tip, so it makes the application even easier. And it's actually good for all the newbies that's getting into the brow game. So I definitely recommend this pencil. I ordered it, was impatient, went to Sephora, bought one, so now I have two. And it has a spoolie on it. If anyone knows me, they know how addicted I am to the spoolie and faithful. You need a spoolie to do your brows. No matter what anyone tells you, if you don't have a spoolie, spoolie, your brows will not be good. I'm sorry, you're gonna blend those babies out. You can't, don't debate me, like at all. So that was my products from literally the past two days from Alton and Sephora, and then I ordered the brow kit. I mean, the glow kit from Anastasia and her powder and her pencil. But okay, a lot of my accessories, like my earrings, if you follow me on Instagram, you see like my earrings I have, the necklace I have, the shades I recently just had a few weeks ago, the Kita glasses that I named, yes, by Daint. It is a cutest little accessory website and company that I support highly. And I just ordered the glasses, but then she came out with a, hey, Shalia. A mirror. Now I never really have like a compact mirror in my purse as much as I should. So she came out with this and it's a cute mirror. It's really cute, two sides. But the best part about it, it has a light on it. Like a vanity light. You have to hold it this way though. The vanity light has to be at the bottom because if it's at the top, it's gonna look, your reflection's gonna drive you crazy. This is the cutest thing I've ever seen. It comes in pink. So it's shopdaint.com. Along with that, she sent me these adorable bunny ears. How cute are those? You can see them. Those are so cute. So adorable. Thank you so much, Shalia at Shop Daint. And of course, alongside with these aviator sunglasses that she rock, she sent me to rock out. And they're black because everyone knows black is my color. So that is my shopping haul for the week. I'm pretty sure I'm banned from buying anything for a while. My card is to be put away. So that is my haul. That's my Ipsy that I'm more excited about the bag. And if you don't know what Ipsy is, go to ipsy.com. It's when you do a subscription and you fill out a little survey of what you like and don't like, what companies you like and use, et cetera, or you would like to use. And for $10 a month, they send you out a bag each month so you get a makeup bag filled with products so go ahead and subscribe to me i highly recommend it i love it it's just some months it's kind of like blah but the majority of the months are like awesome and you can always just give stuff to your friend so until next time guys bye